So what's up guys? Long time I haven't done a video, cooking video, so I just said um I'm feeling for something so I said yo let me you know just set some stuff up real quick so yeah so this is what I'm eating right now well about to, to about to eat I'm just setting it up that's some um, quinoa right there see it's still hot so I just turned the stove off you know what I mean and then that's some um some of them chickpeas um, pasta, you know what I mean? The chickpeas, I love that chickpeas flour stuff. So yeah, see, I got some more right here. Some rotini style, you know what I mean? That's them right here. And this is just something I got making like a gravy to put everything in. Because I was feeling for like some um, chickpeas pizza and I was like, man, I ain't even going to go to the store. I'm just going to set it up make it taste a little bit um a little a little salty just a little bit like our pizza would be and with some cheese so i mean i didn't even put no cheese because i was just making it just to make it taste like that so this is what i came up with right here i'm gonna put some water in it because it's still on it's just simmering down so i'm gonna put some more dried out a little bit so just gonna put some more water in it real quick and make it come down to some gravy so some thick kind of gravy you know what i mean so you know remember i said i was feeling for pizza that's why i came up with this idea i want the similar taste so that's why i put these right here with it that's why i put these with it So it'll be like the flour, cause remember these made out of flour. So it'll be like the flour on the pizza when I'm eating it. You see what I'm saying? And then this gravy here, we pour some water in here. Turn it up a little bit, and I'm gonna pour some water. So yeah, just a little bit of water to make it just so when I make it steam down let me turn the stove up let it start bubbling a little bit so yeah that's what i'm setting up comment below mm -hmm. so if y'all got some recipes that y'all be setting up you know what I mean? let me know it's popping yep yeah there it is, start bubbling up, y'all see it? So what I got in here is some garlic, garlic, um, plum tomato, um, what else? Yeah, and everything else is just um, like rosemary, um, cumin. And yeah, so let me turn the stove down to simmer and just cover it up. And you know, 10, 15 minutes time, done. So yeah. So that's the quinoa, I'll cover that back up. I got that, cover it up until, cause I'm gonna pour this right here into the, um, into, into here when it's done. After this is done cooking, I'm gonna put it in there. So you see how that's looking? It's looking like you're making a gumbo. You see what I'm saying? And that's all vegetables in here yeah, right there. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I thought about the setup. So, yeah. See y'all in a minute. So there it is, guys. After 15 minutes, then I'm just gonna see how that look. It look like it's some kind of chicken strips and curry, huh? Yep, and it's not no curries in it, so yeah, just those seasonings I told you guys before. So, pasta in there, and just stir it all up, and put your, the stove on low, and put some quinoa in it at the end of the dish. But I'll let you guys see, and 
you have a gourmet nice meal tasting like pizza and you know all those flavors so yeah So there it is guys, some quinoa and then that right there is some um, pasta seasoned up nicely to taste like pizza or even better. You guys see it, how nice it looks? All the nice crystals is looking nice and, oh man, sweet, nice, nice, nice. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have been a while, so like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Made it, made it, made it, oh made it, made it.